ICD-10, Updating the Patient's Problem List. At the end of this video, you will learn how to transfer specific notes from ICD-9 codes to new ICD-10 codes within an open progress note, remove ICD-9 codes from the problem list, and transfer general assessment notes from previous office visits to current visit. From the office visit screen, double click on the patient's name to open the progress note. In the progress note, from the right chart panel, you will see the patient's problem list. This is where we will update the ICD codes. Click on the three dots. This window shows the patient's problem list with ICD codes on the left. Click on the Add button to add new ICD-10 assessment codes. You may need to rearrange these boxes to view them both at the same time. To do so, click and hold the top section of this box while dragging it downwards, enough to see the problem list box in the background. Make sure there is a check mark in the Use ICD-10 box. Using the Smart Search IMO, Type the first assessment from your problem list and click Go. The results will carry an ICD-10 code. Each of these assessments is specific to hypertension. Hover over the assessment to see a full description. Click on the two arrows to view more assessments. If the ICD-10 code is black, then there is only one corresponding ICD-10 code. If the ICD-10 code has a blue link, this means that there are more than one corresponding ICD-10 codes. Click on the blue link to choose from a list of more specific ICD-10 codes. Here, you can narrow your search by clicking a radio button to select an appropriate modifier. Then, below, double-click to add the appropriate diagnosis. We have now modified the assessment from hypertension to renovascular hypertension. You will see that the code has transferred to the selected assessment box on the right. Click OK. This adds the new code to the patient's problem list. If the previous assessments have notes linked to them, they will need to be copied into the new assessment code. To do this, click on the Notes field of the old ICD-9 code. Highlight the text and right click on your mouse. Choose Copy, OK. Click on the new ICD-10 note section, then right click, choose Paste. Click OK. Notice that the notes from the previous ICD-9 code have been transferred to the new ICD-10 code. Now that we have the ICD-10 code added to the problem list, we can delete the ICD-9 code. To do so, click on the ICD-9 code and click Remove. Here you have the option to either permanently remove this ICD-9 assessment or remove this assessment and add to the patient's medical history. Once you have removed the ICD-9 code and added to the medical history, this assessment can be found in the patient's medical history from your progress note. 
Repeat these steps for each ICD-9 code you wish to transfer to a new ICD-10 code. Search your assessment. Click on the blue link. Choose from your radio button options to narrow your diagnosis results. and select your diagnosis. Copy and paste any notes. Highlight, right click, copy. Choose your new ICD-10 code notes. Right click and paste. Select your ICD-9, remove and either remove and add to medical history or permanently remove your ICD-9 code. Once you have finished updating your problem list, you can merge your assessments from the right chart panel into your progress note by clicking once on the red arrow next to each problem. Adding general notes from previous progress notes. For providers that chart assessment notes under general notes section, use the encounter dropdown from the upper right. Select a previous visit you would like to copy the notes from. Highlight the notes in the assessment section Right-click and copy your notes. Navigate back to your current progress note. Scroll down to the assessments section. And in the notes section, Right click and when paste you close your this notes. Box, the assessment notes will populate your progress note. Summary Transition to ICD 10 Updating Patient Problem List. Using the problem list from the right chart panel, add new ICD 10 assessment codes into patient's problem list. Copy and paste existing notes from ICD-9 assessment codes to new ICD-10 assessment codes. Remove ICD-9 notes from the problem list. Merge new ICD-10 assessment codes into current progress note. Copy general assessment notes from previous office visits to current progress note.